Hey y'all. Welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. I'm Dawn. I'm a new flower farmer. This is my second year growing, so I'm still learning. I'm a lot of trial and error. And I am in South Louisiana, Zone 8B, where we do have hot summers and mild winters, so we do have an extended growing season, which has helped. This video, I thought I'd take you along on a day in a life of what I have to get done. Um, so here's what's happened. As you can see, my I'm in my stem shed. Um, got a lot of empty space. I do have some, some things started. So I kind of got behind um, just because of, of life. I mean, it just happens. And then I realized, um, I looked over at my little greenhouse and I kept seeing all these birds fly in and out. And I'm like, what in the world? Are they eating my stuff? Now, I go in there and I had forgot that I had some zucchini and some tomatoes in there that really need to get out into the garden. I um, some watermelon. They were building nests in it. So I'm going to get those out today. Um, I'll take you along on that. Uh, I need to get some sunflowers planted. I have got, um, I've got some other flowers that need to be planted on my flower rows. So looking at doing some cosmos, some zinnias, I need to get, I've got two or three that I'm experimenting with. Those need to get out today. Um, these are my trays that are being prepped for Mother's Day sales. So a lot of stuff to do. Oh, and yesterday, um, I ran up to the thrift store and I got a ton of vases that I need for my bouquet subscription. So all of those need to be washed. And then of course, everything that I plant comes out of a pot that needs to be washed. So today is just going to be that kind of day. Um, not the glamorous side for sure. It is the long day, um, that just, it reinvigorates me, but it also exhausts me. So a lot to do today. So I hope you'll stay with me and follow me in a day in a life. So for whatever reason, I did not have good germination. These are my seeds from um, Geo. I don't know what happened, but anyway, um, I have this space right here that's in between these sweet peas that's gonna come up and um, a few other things down here. I didn't feel like pulling up the sweet peas today, but those are gonna be pulled up eventually. So what I'm gonna do, because I need to get these in the ground, I'm just planting them in this space here. Uh, straight into the ground. The sweet thing about sunflowers is they grow fast and I turn them pretty quickly. So I don't always plant them in uh, fabric. So we're gonna do this tray real quick and then we'll move on to something else. So, and all I'm doing is eyeballing it. I do not do anything else but eyeball. I do three per row what works for me may not work for you use this handy dandy tool um, seems to be perfect for my seedlings makes it go fast I've seen people use drills and that I'm just not pulling all of that out this is just stays in my pocket um, and we move with it so pretty easy they should pop out see the root system on that then I just drop them in plant them if they for whatever reason struggle to come out like this one just did um, sometimes I will loosen them with this little thing came in something I ordered I almost threw it away and was like oh look perfect for getting out seedlings so so that's all I'm doing today is I am removing dropping in and getting this done squash plants that were in my greenhouse uh, that I actually kind of forgot about um, and I've got to get them in so I've got a little bit left space on this row I'm gonna get them in this one and then uh, at the other end of the row so some things that I had planted down here um, actually died out and so now I have space Next up, cucumbers. I have some growing. Again, just got to get all this in the ground. So I'm going to plant these up real quick. So, so far, it's going pretty fast this morning. A 
last tray of stuff <laughs> that needs to go in the ground. Should have already been in the ground. Oh well. Better late than never, I guess. Mental row. So this is where I kind of just play around with different varieties. Um, so I have some carnation um, impatience here. This is marvels of Peru. Got some carnations, some lemon mandarin, and some Indian blankets. So I'm gonna put those down, and we'll see what happens. These are, um, I planted these back on 320 from seed. Look at this. So got some promise here. All right got quite a bit planted today. All of these, these, a bunch of stuff in here. These trays, I had soil blocks, so that was a lot. So all this has to get washed up. Whew. All right, got the experimental row all planted out some different varieties this row we still got to get it tilled up so I can cover it with black fabric so sweet peas I'm just gonna have to pull them up I'm just, because I have some other stuff planted around there sunflower celosia down that aisle down that row this needs to be pulled up this is what's left over from um, earlier this year so that's some lettuce and that needs to be picked up. I've got our potatoes, some cosmos going, cantaloupe, peppers, tomatoes, so a whole lot going on. Whew. It's been a busy day. Still gotta do that those last two rows still need to be tilled up and covered with the landscape fabric. <clears throat> six hours later <laughs> I'm tired um, I'm hot I'm sweaty I probably don't smell like great either uh, I did get well let me just say this so the only thing that I got done on my list in the past six hours was planting out all of my starters flowers and vegetables that needed to go into the field yeah, I really underestimated how many I had to do. So, I'll total, totaled, God, I can't even talk, um, a little over 300 plants. Yeah. Uh, the more I pulled out, the more I saw I needed to get in the ground. So, all of my veggies are done. Um, I don't even actually have anything else I'm starting at any time. I'm probably not going to get until the fall. So, we're good to go. Um, oh, I'm, I'm take that back. We just started some okra today, but other than that, that that part is going to be cleaned out of the stem shed. Then I need to. Um, oh, and then I did get all of my flowers that I hardened off. I got those planted down. What else? Oh, I finished my experimental row of some of the varieties I'm trying, and some things I don't even know what the names of them were. Um, so I did get that done. It's been a long six hours today. I really just want to shower and go to bed. <laughs> Take a little nap. Um, but that's not going to happen. So, I'm glad you stayed with me today. 
I didn't film everything just because it had to be boring watching me just plant stuff. So, um, sorry. Anyway, thank you for staying with me today. Um, not glamorous. I'm tired. Uh, my back hurts. <laughs> my hands hurt. But, you know, I think about the reward at the end of, at the end of 90 days, 60 days when my flowers are blooming and I'm delivering those bouquets or when we're getting our harvest of vegetables and um, we're canning and putting those up or I'm sharing with my family. So that's the payoff. It makes me happy. So thanks for being here today, um, for hanging in there. Until we meet again, I hope you're turning all your daydreams into a reality.